So, do you guys ever do any, like, late night internet shopping and stuff shows up and you're like, oh, what am I going to do with that? Yeah, that's what this is. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've seen my last video, you absolutely know that I have this thing about lights and, and RGB LEDs. And so, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm doing some surfing on the internet. I get an inbox, or I get a message in my inbox, and I'm like, oh, what's this? It's a Sylvania Light Up DJ system with a drum kit. Oh man, it records. So I started looking around, and I can't really find any reviews on this thing. It's just kind of a thing. and I see a bunch of different designs, but the same model number. So anyway, I ordered it. It was like $140 Canadian, and it gets to my inbox, and a little bit later I find it for $200 on a different website, and 70 bucks on uh, Amazon, and then I find it locally for $50. So... I don't know how to base this review on the the price of the unit because you can get it from anywhere between 50 Canadian dollars and 200 Canadian dollars and I don't really know where at 50 bucks it's all right at 200 dollars it's not all right at 140 I don't know it sometimes that's what it is so do you guys ever do any like late night internet shopping and stuff shows up and you're like oh what am i gonna do with that yeah that's what this is anyway hope you enjoy the video and um here we go so this is what i had ordered and you can see there are two speakers and then two base ports in the center there there's absolutely no branding on it whatsoever this is kind of what showed up but let's take a closer look this is what shows up now first of all the biggest uh, apparent uh, design difference is that this doesn't have two ports these speaker covers are different and there's a speaker in the middle that you can see that's awesome so that's a little bit different now if we flip it up on the top it, there's already some differences just in the box art okay so there's no branding here this is sand key and these uh, equalizer sliders are different. And there's a red power button on, on the box on the very top of it. The other thing to notice on here is that this is not spelled correctly. It says Bluetooth speaker with drum kit. So it's like this top box flap somehow got through uh, quality control or something like that. It's also very pixelated. I don't know if you can really see it, how pixelated sand key is on there. And it's just, it's just, yeah, it's like they used artwork they weren't supposed to use for the box. So here we've got the Sylvania branding. These are different. The sliders still has a red button. And now it says DJ effects, obviously uh, Photoshopped on there. And, the, and another difference is that between the picture on one of the retail sites, Sylvania, is much bigger on the other uh, on the other picture. Let's go around to the side here, and this one matches this one, I think, and this one. You can see everything looks about the same there, and flip it over here. Everything looks right. These horrible photoshopped drumsticks are, are terrible. Anyway. That's, uh, that's it. Let's go through the features of the Bluetooth speaker with drum kit. Okay, let's take a look at some of the features of the Boombox DJ by Sylvania. Seven drum pads emit realistic sounds including crash cymbal, hi-hat, etc. 2.1 built-in subwoofer delivers, delivers the full body bass dj sound effects wireless bluetooth streaming allows you to wirelessly connect your smartphone or tablet to the speaker 
LED display and speaker lights. With USB and SD card support, five band equalizer control, a built in FM PLL radio, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input allows simple wired connectivity. A microphone input for karaoke fun. Is the microphone. If it's on the on position, you should be able to hear the microphone. That's right. That's the microphone from the Boombox DJ by Sylvania. I turn up the volume here on the Echo Effect. We can hear a little bit of reverb that'll continue to come in as I turn the dial in the clockwise direction. The more I turn it, the more echo we get. And this is the maximum that you can get. A guitar input allows direct connection. <laughs> watts RMS power helps ensure rich dynamic sound accessories include an AC DC adapter that is 15 volt 2.4 amps and two times drumsticks and so that is the Sylvania boombox DJ or Sankey or some other company who knows um, I'm kind of stoked it showed up the way it did. There were so many questions when I ordered it. What was going to show up? Was it going to be bad or was it going to be good? I would say it's mediocre. It's not a good guitar amp. It works. Uh, it's kind of entertaining to play drums along with some music. The radio works. It's not battery powered whatsoever, which is a disadvantage. But I think probably the biggest disappointment is that the record function for the drum set doesn't loop. And honestly, I can and I do spend hours playing guitar over the same drum loop. And that's where this gets a pass for me. Really wish it had a drum loop. Maybe you get some friends that can come over and and loop a drum beat for you. And while well, you noodle around on the guitar, but I, I don't it's not going to happen for me. Headphone jack would be nice so that I'm not bugging other people playing my sweet drums, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the light show is kind of neat. Wish it was sound reactive, but I mean, other than that, it sounds okay. It gets loud enough. You can control the drum volume separate from your music volume. Uh, that, that I think is good, but yeah, it is what it is. The unboxing and, and all of the other extra footage follows here. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below on what kind of things you've bought on the internet at 3 a.m. And let's compare notes. So let's get into the Boombox DJ. Okay, here we go. This is the Boombox DJ by Salvania. Oh, did I little tiny bit of tape still stuck on there? There we go. Oh, mm, smell that. So there's the manual model SP770. The picture is only for reference. Please refer to the actual unit. Okay, then let's take a quick look inside the. All right, there's a French version too. It is Bluetooth speaker with drum. There's the top there. Read all information off on 15. There's no mention of a battery. In the manual at all memory sticks oh connecting yeah this is gonna be interesting I think okay
<laughs> yeah, there's the drumsticks. Oh, it's a wall wart adapter. Of course it is. Why would I expect anything different? All right, we're done with the box. There is our wall wart, 15 volt, 2.4, CUL listed, and barrel connector on there. Sure. Oh, these are these are tiny drumsticks. Okay. moment we've all been waiting for. Let's get a look at the boombox the DJ. <laughs> it's very deep. The on off switch is in the back. It does say Sylvania on the back. The FM antenna is fixed there. Okay, it's got a standby button. Okay. So here is. The Boombox DJ. Let's take a little closer look at these controls. So on top we've got a guitar input, microphone input, a, sc <laughs> a screw hole, a screw hole. There's mic echo, mic or guitar volume mode. Music volume, track, pa play pause, track forward, track back, stop, demo, record, volume up, volume down, play, DJ mode, drum style. Ooh, okay. Okay. I hope these light up. They look like they might. Okay, let's get this plugged in, powered up. Plug in our 15 volts. Yeah, we'll turn that around to the front. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's turn on the Sylvania Boombox DJ. If I can find the switch. There it is. There's a standby button here. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Okay, we need to turn some lights off here. <laughs> Look at the... That's awesome. Okay, so it's currently set on Bluetooth. I am not going... Oh, look, there's lights in the... There's lights in those. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it. <coughs> Okay, okay, okay. These are not pressure sensitive. It doesn't matter how hard I hit them. More volume. I'd rather not use those.
What's the volume do? Oh, you can change. Uh, it's true recording. Oh, it doesn't loop. <laughs> it doesn't loop, so you you can't you can't use it for looping. Oh boy, that's not cool. That's too bad. Okay, huh? All right. Oh. Yeah. the demo do what I can't do that this is horrible I don't think these do anything do they does this sound different no, the EQ doesn't change anything for the drums. Okay, so there's no bass control. The uh, funny thing is that those those lights are not at all reactive to Santa. And I think yeah, they're just they're just in the back here, right? So you can you can right they're in back there, and they're just little. Okay, okay. Not reactive sound. That's too bad. Okay, let's try connecting some blue tooth. Sylvania SP. Ooh, okay. Okay, it's all from your phone. This does work now. Let's see if there's an issue with synchronization radish and one clove of garlic also grated season that a taste with salt and pepper give it some whiskey business until thoroughly combined and that's your russian dressing now look you can enjoy this however you want but the brisket was so distance mommy mama it's probably one of the best I've ever had, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta try it on a sandwich. Got the Russian dressing, the sourkraut, and we decided to use sourdough instead of rye. I know that's a little sacrilegious, but I mean... Actually, you know what? Stuff. This is it a perfect, perfect sandwich, in my opinion. You have the toast, the deep crunch. You got the sweetness, the sourness from the Russian dressing. Huh. A little more sourness from the sauerkraut. And obviously oh. you've got this rich, fatty, perfectly smoked. Well, that's, that's impressive. This is the microphone. If it's on the on position, you should be able to hear the microphone. That's right. That's the microphone from the Boombox DJ by Sylvania. I turn up the volume here on the echo effect. We can hear a little bit of reverb that will continue to come in as I turn the dial in the clockwise direction. The more I turn it, the more echo we get. And this is the maximum that you can get.
let's try the uh, the other input methods on this, which are um, a USB and SD card and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. All right, so I've loaded this card up with uh, some music from the YouTube library. So we're just going to shove that in there. <laughs> Pause works, pull it out, goes back to Bluetooth, and it connects to my phone. And then throw in the USB. Like that. both in at the same time and switch between them with the mode button. Okay, let's try out the 3.5 millimeter input. Just gonna use this cable here connected to an old iPhone that still has an input output 3.5 millimeter output. So plug that in there. All right, let's play this. Change auxiliary. <laughs> Thank you. 